This is The Lock Picking Lawyer, and I have a really strange looking lock for you today. It's something I received without a key in a large shipment of scrap locks a few years back, and other than noting the eye-catching form factor, didn't give it too much thought. It wasn't until much later that I learned of its obscure and largely obsolete use. This is a bar lock for a newspaper vending box. To use it, one inserts the full 11 inch long lock into the head of the machine, and once locked in place with this lug, it can't be retracted and keeps the head from hinging open. This particular one is made by the Batten Lock Company and seems to have their 6000 series disc detainer core. You can see it has an Abloy Classic style semicircular keyway. There are eight discs behind it and no false gates. So I'm not anticipating an overly difficult pick. So let's get this in the vise and see what it takes to pick it open. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to take out my Abloy Classic pick, insert it all the way so I can tension off of disc 8. Then I'm going to find disc number 1 and get to picking. Okay, nice, cl nice click out of 1. Nothing on 2. Click out of 3. Nothing on four, click out of five, click out of six, and seven is loose, back to the beginning. Nothing on the gated spinner, that is loose, so is disc one, so is disc two, so is three, click out of four, four feels like it's in a gate, five is binding. There we go, click out of five, and we got this open. You could see that lug retracted. So, as you saw, not too hard a pick, but probably good enough for the street, insofar as the tools required to open it are not terribly common. This is one that I made myself. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.